Hi, this is Sally from eLearning, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use assignment folders to allow your students to use Panopto in your courses. So the first thing that you'll need to do is to create an assignment folder in your course. So you're going to want to open the course that you're going to enable Panopto for your students. And then you'll want to click on Panopto Recordings in the course navigation menu. Now, if you don't see Panopto Recordings in your navigation menu, then you're going to need to go into settings and enable that in your menu. So I have it enabled, so I'm going to go ahead and click Panopto Recordings. So now this is my Panopto folder for this Sally's New Sandbox course. Now I'm going to create an assignment folder within this folder and this is going to allow students to have limited creator access to Panopto. So it's going to allow them to create and edit and view their own videos. So in order to do this you'll want to click on the folder settings icon here and then you'll want to make sure you're in the overview section of the folder settings and then click create assignment folder. And then it's that simple. So now I have an assignment folder with the name of the course with assignments in brackets. So you could go ahead and close out of that. So one thing is that this new folder will give students the ability to create and edit and view their own videos like I said but they do not have the ability to view other people's videos. So if you want them to see each other's videos um, for you know maybe to do peer review or to use within discussion forums you'll need to enable that setting in the assignment folder. So I'm going to go ahead here's my uh, assignment folder here for this course so go ahead and click on it to open it. So now I have the assignments folder open I am going to click the gear again to open the assignments folder settings. So you'll want to click on settings here and then you want to check this allow viewers to see each other's sessions. And then you can go ahead and close that out. And so now students can not only create um, Panopto videos within this folder, they can also view each other's videos. And that's it. That now your students are able to use Panopto in your course. Um, and if you would like to learn how to create a Panopto assignment, you can watch my next video. Thank you for listening.